let's get started with pandas data frames but before we get started creating a data frame and working with it let's first understand the need for having a pandas data frame what is the purpose of having a data structure called a data frame you will understand this first and then start working with data frames now when you're working on any data analysis or any data science project as a whole you will often come across structured data what do i mean by structured data is suppose you have a csv file you have a csv file or it could be a xlsx file this is from excel software microsoft excel software csv is comma separated values in comma separated values you have the various values present in the file separated by commas right you can open it with various software such as microsoft excel now you have this file and that file can be represented if you open that file it can you can represent the data in the form of tabular rows and columns suppose let's suppose this data represents sales data in this data you have the various rows of your data representing each individual customer and the various columns could be say this could be the customer id this could be the age this could be sex this could be the income and so on so on and so forth you have the various fields present in this data and you want to load this data into python from excel to python how will you load it into python one way to do it is you could read this file using using a csv reader or something read this file and represent it as a list of lists let's suppose we don't have panda software software at all what you could do is you can represent each row as an individual list and put all those lists or all those rows into a bigger list so this is a list of lists so every item in this list represent one cell in this data right every item here represents one cell in this data we could work with this data itself we could work with list of list itself but what is the problem with it this is highly inconvenient for mathematical operations say you want to compute a new column new column called say salary divided by the age you want to create a new column from this to create such a trivial activity data analysis activity you will need to write a for loop or a list comprehension to create a new field inside each of these lists that is cumbersome so alternately what you can do is you can work with numpy arrays you can store your data as numpy arrays if you work like that you have a tremendous advantage of the speed doing operations on numpy arrays is very fast it has a tremendous advantage to it but there is a drawback the drawback is numpy arrays do not support having column names also if you want to merge two data frames together suppose you have sales data in one table you have orders data in one table both of these data you need to merge them as one single data set based on your column id based on this column you want to combine both of these data frames as one single unit right it is not easy to do that using numpy arrays that is merging data sets it's not easy so like that small disadvantages are there what makes this more convenient to work with is the pandas data frames pandas data frames supports columns it supports merging not just this it supports a whole lot of data wrangling related activities that you can do all sorts of data wrangling within data frame itself so we will first understand how to create a data frame and then later on down in the course we will understand how to merge data sets you need to wait a little bit for this we will come to this but first let's get started with how to create a pandas data frame 